Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip the mandrake by the tendrils and give it a Tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Potting table unlocked. Small planter. As you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Okay. Dittany. Ah. Uh, Wigan Weld Potion. Yeah, get I get a whole bunch of those in there. Nine minutes. Shit. All right. What the heck? There's a storm cloud above this. It's gonna take nine in-game minutes or nine actual minutes, like real life minutes. Will be ready to use Crap. Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. I should probably get more of those. What say we branch out? Introduce you to a. You like making a lot of plant puns, do you? Chinese chomping cabbage. What the fuck? You find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. 
The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Yeah, no, no shit. <laughs> All right, you first. I ain't touching that. You first. Don't Hello. Grab a few of those cabbages. No, thanks. I almost lost it. Now, see that dummy? Just uh -huh. toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. How do I do that? Okay. With a chomping cabbage. Bolt alt. Ah. Wait, what? Yep. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Oh. Can I pick you up? Oh. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? Yeah. My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Yeah. I'm not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. That's true. I was imagining it already. I was imagining it the entire time. True. I mean, of course, you're uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. True. Weed and death cap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Okay. A reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. Six minutes. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. Get wrecked, Clopton, whoever you are. You idiot. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, mm -hmm. Professor. Mm -hmm. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't They're okay. Trouble. Nah. I don't see any bite marks or missing digits. <laughs> and good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Nice, thanks. Uh... Thank you, Professor. But looking after plants isn't all that thrilling to me. Mm -hmm. I think you'll come to see that the fruit is well worth the labor. As we herbologists like to say, tend to your plants and they'll tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose... We'll see, I guess. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Okay. Herbology class complete noise. I have no idea what the heck I need. Because I don't know. I don't think I don't know what any of this crap is. Right out. Let's just buy that one and see what happens. Alright. We'll see. I have no idea yet. You think the potions class would be near the herbalism class, but no. It is not. Potions classroom. There we go. School after the incident in Hogsmeade. Waiting apparently. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. Okay. Begin quest. Show me the potions. What the heck is this? Potions is one of the most challenging and ah. hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will okay. begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. I, s I actually need that. Can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. <laughs> okay. Completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Okay. Make sure it's the right book because. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Okay. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. A pinch of could be disastrous. 
Seems pretty good to me. Oh. Okay. Sure. Okay, I'm still not a fan of mini games, but whatever. What is that? I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Yep. That person over there is making something totally different. An easy potion to brew. Well done. Thank you. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edorus potion. Edorus? So easily had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes. yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. Okay. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Okay. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Okay. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... Resourceful? Resourceful. Okay. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Okay. 100% skill. Just going to put that out there. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did That's okay. Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office. Yes. Yes, you did. Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant. And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. Okay. Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley, bit of a prodigy. Gareth Weasley. I do say so myself. Okay. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen. True. Anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Endurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. Oh, yeah? I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. Yep. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single whooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission... Perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. <sighs> Effort. We'll do it. Very well. I'll bring you a Fooper feather. Brilliant! Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Okay. A well what in the hell is this mongrel fur? Okay. I'm going to take this too. I don't care. Okay. Y'all can read that if you want to. I don't care. Eggs. Nice. And Uno feather. He's going to know that's gone. Look at that. Look at that feather. He's going to know that feather's gone, bro. What are you talking about? It's a giant pink feather. What do you mean? You're crazy. But whatever, we did it. Here's the fwopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. Okay. You should get back to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Alright. We'll see how that goes. Proficiency and potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Taking this too, thanks. And be thorough. Okay. Brew potions. Uh, Endures potion. I want to make this, but I don't have any orc lump shoes. Whatever the heck that is. Huh. Okay, let's just do this. 28 seconds. I like it. Okay. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? <laughs> Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Get it! Get it. Oh. Oh. Dragon duck! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. True. Oh, it's done. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again, Mr. Or clumped shoes. I don't know how to get that. 
on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. That was me. I did that. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Ah. Uh... <sighs> I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. <laughs> I did. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. Yes. A rare occurrence. Mm -hmm. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. True. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Why? Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Okay. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Okay. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. To true. I'm, I, yep. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot. Potions class. I wish he talked about it more. Uh, so I go here to make potions. My station is over here. My station is hella bigger than all y'all stations. Just gonna point that out there. Y'all stations suck. Uh, I need horklump juice. I don't know where the heck to get that. So I'm gonna go figure out how to do that. <laughs> and we'll take it from there. I need a bigger table. I just wanna point that out there. I'm gonna save money to get plants and potions because I'm probably gonna need that. I could use your help. You what up? to speak with me. I did. Mm -hmm. Hello. I'm Duncan Hophouse. Pleasure okay. to meet you. You too. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. True. Uh. I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. Mm -hmm. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class. And, well, mine... Unfortunately, took the shape of a, a puff scheme. Okay. Uh. They're adorable. Why would you be afraid of a puff scheme? They seem adorable until one sticks its tongue up your nose. Regardless of <laughs> yeah. how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Scheme Dunkeen. It's actually funny. I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I do not have to admit that. Everett said the same thing. Mm -hmm. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the hidden herbology corridor. The hidden herbology corridor. <laughs> that's what you want to do, you idiot. <clears throat> has it that the herbology professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there? Mm -hmm. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. Oh. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Ah, uh, sure. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. Mm -hmm. I'd very much appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Come and find I'm me. I'm not giving it to you, though. I shall be forever in your debt. Mm-hmm. I'm not giving it to you though. I'm gonna do it myself. <laughs> Find it myself, do it myself. Bah! Hidden Herbology Corridor. Oh yeah, this is gonna suck probably. This is probably gonna suck. Okay. This must be the entrance to the Hidden Herbology Corridor. It's smooth in here. Devil's Snare seems to thrive in darkness. Up, up, up. Yeah, I did that actually. I did that on purpose. I like that they added Devil Snare in here. That's pretty dope. Okay. Excuse me. This is my area now. I'm about to own this shiznads. 
What is this? Reparo. Hmm. Reparo. I didn't do nothing. Oh. Okay. It seems the devil snare was protecting a chest of some kind. There we go. Okay. Put my light back on. Wrong thing. Excuse me. There we go. Oh. What is this? Oh, okay, okay. Nice. This doesn't do anything for me. I don't even think I have to go over here. <laughs> Whatever. I went over here. Hmm. Is there more of those lamps back here, by the way? I don't know. I didn't really check. Wasn't really paying attention back there. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Okay. Uh. So you want me to. Incendium. Are you crazy, sir? Lumos. How am I supposed to get this? Incendium. Ha. Huh. Lumos. Thank you. Okay. Have you found anything to oh. uh, prove my brave? Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Mm -hmm. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. You're welcome. I'm gonna keep it though. Now that I think about it, Puff Scheme Dunkeen, I think I shall keep this. You need to overcome your cowardice. You can't be serious. <gasps> this is awful. I don't know what to do now. Go face your fears. I'm doing you a favor. Disappointment like this will encourage you to become a stronger person. I don't need to be stronger. I need to be left alone. Even Zenobia Noak will make fun of me now. I don't know who that is. You've wasted my time. You're not who I thought you were. Hell no, you're not. Hell no, I'm not. Should never have trusted you. I feel like this is a bad idea that I'm what I'm doing, but uh, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care. I hope to be evil. That would be pretty dope. We have to do the side quests because I don't want to have to go to a mission and then be like, hey, you didn't do the side quest yet. You know what I mean? Oi, what up, bruh? Can you help me? Yeah. Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map to be precise. Mm -hmm. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I bet. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Uh, sure. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Okay, cool. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Okay. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Okay. Meet me back here if you find anything. Okay, fair enough. Yep. What in the hell is this? I have to pull something. This stairwell looks promising. Oh, upstairs. Okay. This looks like the portrait from the map. Yep. And where's the treasure? Akio. Uh, there was a doorway hidden within the portrait. Holy crap. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Historian's robe. Oh my god, I'm a... Hello? Uh... Historian's robe. Oh, I can put my hoodie on or off? That's a game changer right there, bruh. Hold up, let me see what this is. Look at that. That actually looks pretty dope. But look at this. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. I can put the hoodie on or off. That's actually pretty freaking dope. Look at how badass that looks. I wish I had hair now. 
Cause I thought I'd go a little bit further over his head. This looks like a place I'm not supposed to be in. <laughs> uh oh. Hello. Uh oh. Hmm. What have you learned? Uh, I learned that I can put my hoodie up. That's what I learned. My map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky. Seems as though we both had success. Nice. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Hey, yo. Well, nice. on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Mm -hmm. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. Uh, maybe. Who knows? Who knows, to be honest. All right, M. I think that's all the side quests? No, there's one more side quest. Right here. Do you see my outfit? Do I scare you? Is everything all right? Cost me an extra 10 bucks. 20, I think, actually. I'm, just... I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. Surely you will be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, uh, I've tried. And I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. Okay. I'll I go do that. A few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find. If I got it. Don't worry. You stay right there. Wrong way. Oh. Come here, you stupid key. Get back here, boy. Where'd it go? I, I lost it. What are you up to now? Shut up. Oh. What is this? How do I get this key in there? Slap. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. It just says slap. It doesn't say anything else. Brilliant. Hey, y'all. That's right. Slapped it right into there. What is this? An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. Oh, there you go. You just got to slap it into the lock. Yeah, that's going to take a while. <laughs> just so y'all know. That'll take y'all a lot longer than it took me, probably. I was pushing keys, but I don't think it did anything. It just had to... It's got to wait. It's a waiting game. To follow one of the Dedalian keys? Hell yeah. Oh, Slapped it right into place. How did you get a Dedalian key into its lock? Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like some sort of house token. I bet it unlocks house chests. It could, I yeah. House chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Keep an eye out. Oh... I mean, I gotta go back to my... Continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. Okay, insert the key into my key house chest. Look at it. Oh my... Oh, it's such a good door. I wish I had this door in real life. Rip. Oh, what's this? this must be my house chest. Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open them. One! Quite a few by the look of it. Yeah. Sixteen! Wow. Okay, well, that's going to be a different... That's... Nope. <laughs> that's not today. Oh. Unlock. It's a waiting game. That's all it is. You got to wait and then just smack it once you see it go across the middle. It's best to just look at the center and then once you see it, just smack it. Don't look at where it's going. Just look at where you want it to go. That's the best advice I got. Let me Akio. 
Damn it. I wanted to drop her fruit stuff. <laughs> it is good to see you, my friend. You too, friend. How are you? I am well, thank you. Mm -hmm. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. Oh, yeah? I have been worried about you. I'm fine. I'm all right at the moment. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? Uh... Can't say. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. Mm -hmm. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. Yep. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. Mm -hmm. To all of us. Mm -hmm. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Oh yeah? Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. Oh yeah? I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. True. You True. have inspired me to take a stand of my own. <laughs> what are you going to do? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. Okay. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Okay. Uh... Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. Mm -hmm. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Okay. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Uh-huh. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right. Okay. But how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Okay. I hope I get to go into combat. I got it. I got a cloak right here. Look at this. I beg your pardon. How dare you me? What's going on here? What happened? Oh,